Forget your smartphone, forget your laptop. What we're seeing here is a supercomputer, specifically designed to crack the toughest computations you can throw at it. This is the realm of spectacular computations, of parallel computing, of vector and matrix operations, the like of which you've never seen before. This is where science gets its numbers. But it's also the lair of Fortran. An extremely powerful creature that has things like that for breakfast. Fortran has been roaming the mainframes of the Earth since ancient computer history. Its name literally derived from formula translation. It was one of the first high-level computer languages and it's been go-between workhorse for scientists who want direct access to supercomputers for their research. Over time, Fortran has become more modern, more powerful over the decades. And even today, when you see a weather model or an atomic simulation of a pharmaceutical compound, a computer image of a cosmic event in far out space, it's pretty probable that actually that's Fortran. What if I told you that you too can harness its power and put it to work on your research? What if I told you that you can learn to code Fortran and master its best practices? How about me teaching you how to domesticate it? Join me in this MOOC, Fortran for Scientific Programming. Let's stain this beast together.